I choose to believe that if you can fight your way into a positive, incredible, abundant energy, then your end result will be incredible abundance. Why not give it a shot? What do you got to lose? To the small things daily, to the big things once or twice a week, put yourself in a feeling of opportunity and possibility and see what comes your way because I'm always cheering you on. Welcome everybody to the Chris Harder Show where we are making you unapologetic about your pursuit of success. Knowing that when good people like you make good money, they can then do great things. My name is Chris Harder and several times per week, I will bring you epic guests, solo episodes, and every single tool, trick, and skill set you need to grow your business, grow your money mindset, and to grow your wealth to levels that you have never reached before. I've ended up in a unique place in life where I've got the experience, the connections, and all of the secrets that it takes to be successful. And I'm lifting the curtain to reveal it all to you in an effort to help put you in a position of abundance so great that you can then be as generous as possible. So let's lock arms and let's get started. Hey, everybody, welcome back to the Chris Harder Show's Another Money Monday here, where we absolutely believe that both prosperity and generosity can and must coexist. Woo, we have been buried in abundance lately. And that's what I'm going to talk about today. Before I do, one of the best ways for you to get buried in abundance is to start your day seeing the world through an abundant set of lenses. Literally, text me the word daily, and I will put you on my daily text list so that every single morning I wake up, I text you a positive money mantra or a positive business perspective. So that before your feet hit the ground, you can just grab your phone, read my text, and see the day through an abundant set of lenses. You know, I always call that positive propaganda. You're either going to let your feet hit the ground and whatever hits your mind is going to hit your mind, or you can take control of it and force abundant things to hit your mind, therefore control the lenses you see the morning through. You know, I always say, if you can control your morning, you can control your day. If you can control your day, you can control the outcomes, right? You can't control the circumstances, but you can control the outcomes. And one of the big ways to do that is by having an abundant mindset. So let me text you. Totally free, no strings attached. Every single morning, just text me the word daily so I know to throw you on the list. Text me the word daily to 310-421-0416. Again, that's text the word daily to 310-421-0416. All right, so that's kind of a perfect segue. Lori and I have been so freaking abundant lately. And I mean like abundance has been pouring in in the craziest of ways lately. I don't have an explanation for it until I started to like, unpack where it could be coming from. And that's some of the stuff I'm going to share with you today. And I got to be honest with you, as I unpacked it, and you'll see as I share it, as I unpacked it, it wasn't a whole bunch of new uh, activities that we were doing that directly create sales or directly create investors or directly create windfalls. It's more like being in the energy of abundance. And I know I struggle with this too. Well, I don't struggle with it. I absolutely know that when you're in the energy of abundance, better things happen to you and for you. I know that for a fact. But I mean like the woo-woo side of it, like, come on. Are all the things that are showing up for Lori and I right now in the past couple of weeks really just because we're like operating in some high frequency, you know, feeling great, feeling abundant zone? Is that literally what's creating this? Because I'm telling you, when I look at the things that have been rolling in the past two weeks, and then when I look at the actions we're taking, they're not actions that are creating sales or investors. They're actions that are creating a good feeling around money. They're actions that are creating happiness and joy. They're actions that are creating like possibility and dreaming. And all of a sudden, all this stuff is showing up. Like, here's an example. We're getting unsolicited showings and potential offers on our house in Arizona, even though it's not on the market. And they're for like a million, million and a half dollars more than we even thought it was worth. Otherwise, we wouldn't entertain them. Like, hello, out of the blue, are you kidding me? Here's another example. We are getting sales of products that we don't advertise are selling left and right all of a sudden. Literally today, without ever posting, ever doing an email, ever doing anything, nothing out of the blue, three different big ticket items that are on my website, but I don't talk about them ever, sold out of the blue for a total of like, what was it? 18 grand, I think, out of the blue. Products I'm not even talking about. Yet people found them and bought them, invested in them. Wild, right? I'll give you another example. A couple huge investors for Frello came through this week. Just showed up. Here's my number. 
the number was wow. I can't believe it. And they're great big names. And all of that showed up in the past week. Speaking opportunities. Now, you never hear Lori and I pitching ourselves for speaking opportunities. You never see us like sending out our, our speaker bio or anything like that. Like when they show up, great, we'll do it. Or when it's a friends event, great, we'll do it. But it's not part of our business plan right now. Yet, huge windfall speaking offers are all of a sudden just showing up in our email. No joke. Like where you got to read it two times. Like, wait, they really are offering this? What? I mean, we're not even advertising that we're speaking right now. Okay, so don't get mad at me, by the way. I'm not sharing all of this. So you're like, oh, great. I'm so glad money's coming in for you, Chris. I'm sitting over here struggling. No, that's not the point. The point is, I wanted to give you the results that are flowing in the past couple of weeks. And that is like, that's maybe not even a quarter of the results. I'm not even kidding you. And so it made me start to unpack, like, where is this coming from? Are we doing something different? And here's what I started to discover as I started to unpack it. First, for a couple of weeks now, we've been back in our California home. And this is where our, we're happiest. And this is where our highest energy is. And this is where like the high frequency, Newport Beach, beautiful homes, successful people, palm trees, sunshine, the ocean, all of those things put us in an incredibly good, incredibly abundant feeling, which is really a high frequency, which attracts high frequency results, right? So I'm not doing things, I'm not offering things, I'm not selling things, but I'm in this really great feeling and it's just attracting things to me. I know, stick with me. If you hear that, you're like, dude, things don't just get attracted to you. I know, but I've got so much evidence. They do, they do. So the first reason is we are in a physical space that lights us up and when we light up, good things happen. Okay, the second thing is this, Lori and I, our money right now. We are bullets right now on doing our abundance practices. We are not missing a single morning of doing our power nine. Remember, that's like when we say out loud to each other on the walk, three things we're grateful for, three things that we are excited about for the day, three things we want to manifest for the day. We're not missing anything and we're doing it with like enthusiasm, right? We're not just like going through the motions like we you know, have fallen into in the past. The other thing on our evening walks, I mean, like clockwork, we are doing three wins for the day. And a lot of them have been these abundant windfalls coming out of nowhere. So the nerdy practices of every morning and every evening, making sure that we are taking inventory of what we want to attract and taking inventory of what our wins are for the day, day in and day out has been happening twice a day without exception. No coincidence that all of a sudden things are starting to show up. Like when you do the small work every single day, it turns into big results day to day. Does that kind of make sense? But you got to do the small stuff day to day that a lot of us skip over. Okay, another reason is I started to unpack this. I have been hard core listening to books about founders that are crushing it. Like the new Elon Musk biography that just came out and a couple other biographies I'm listening to right now and podcasts about founders, right? Because I'm in that founder world right now with Frello. So I'm, I'm just trying to absorb as much audio on it as possible. And it's putting me in this great feeling of possibility. It's putting me in this great feeling of accomplishment. It's putting me in this great feeling of like, whoa, they can accomplish this and those stories. What could I accomplish with my story? Like every single day. Now, here's another thing that's different too. And this can't be coincidence. In our other houses, we have big yards. So when I wake up in the morning, we just let the dogs out and they do their thing. But in this house, we have this little tiny front yard that is all cement in a sitting area. So the dogs can't just go out on their own. I have to literally take them and walk blocks first thing in the morning while the coffee's brewing. Now, I'm reluctant to do that every morning. I don't wake up like, yay, I get to walk the dogs while it's kind of dark out right now. But I've been waking up and popping a book, you know, one of these audios on founders who, are, who have crushed it, one of these biographies in my ears, first thing, grabbing the leashes and walking out. So the very first things in my ears, other than waking Lori up to a mantra, are these founder stories, these success stories, these biographies. And by the time I'm done walking the dogs first thing in the morning and, and get back and the coffee's made and Lori's up, I'm like maybe 15 minutes already in to pure exciting propaganda of possibility of what people are doing. Now, listen, I was not doing that at our Paradise Valley home in Arizona. I just wasn't because I just open up the back door and the dogs run out in the yard. So this is something new and it's getting new results. Is it coincidence? I don't know. Do they correlate? I don't know. All I know is I wasn't doing this before and I wasn't getting this level of abundant results just pouring in out of the blue left and right before. So I almost have to kind of give it credit, right? Okay, and then here's another thing. 
you know, in the past when I've given advice, like, well, you know, go tour the homes that you wish you could be in or go be in the neighborhoods that inspire you or, you know, go out to the restaurants that you would dine in on a regular basis after you made, like the whole act as if stuff. Well, Lori and I, we want a bigger home here in Newport Beach. So we've been kind of house hunting and we've been house hunting in homes that we probably will not buy this time around, but they have been epic. They have been beautiful. They've been incredible. So every couple of days, we're going through another house that is just, holy crap, dream-worthy, goals-worthy, beautiful high-end real estate, you know, overlooking the ocean and in the best neighborhoods. And I'm telling you, all of these abundant things just falling into our laps, it can't just be a coincidence, right? Because we're literally walking through the, the dream homes that, you know, we want to manifest. So listen, Who knows? Take this information. Do with it what you may. You can call me crazy and that's okay. Go on about your day. You can be like, yeah, Chris, you're just like, you're in it right now because you're doing the small things on a regular basis that are keeping you in a high frequency. And that's why you're getting all the the great things falling in your lap. Like if that's the team you're on, great. Send me that love. Send me that good energy. Or if you're somewhere in the middle, that's okay too. But all I know is this. A few things have changed for us over the past couple of weeks in terms of our actions and our feelings, and how we're vibrating, and how we feel. Like, we feel full of freaking joy the past couple of weeks. And at the same time, all of these windfalls, all of this money, all these unexpected sales, all of these unexpected opportunities, all these big investors have been all of a sudden showing up at the same time. I choose to not believe that's a coincidence, especially when it becomes a pattern. I choose to believe that if you can fight your way into a positive, incredible, abundant energy, then your end result will be incredible abundance. Why not give it a shot? What do you got to lose? Do the small things daily. Do the big things once or twice a week. Put yourself in a feeling of opportunity and possibility and see what comes your way because I'm always cheering you on. And when you do, you know what I always say? When good people like you make good money, you can do great things. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening. And if you loved this episode and know of someone else who is as successful as they are generous, please pass them on to me. It would mean the world to me if you help me get this cause and this message out to as many listeners as I can. So please, if you liked what you heard, it goes a long way if you take 30 seconds and leave me a five-star review and share this with your friends. I'll be forever grateful. And until the next episode, cheers to your success.